let's go. Welcome back, everybody, uh, for another edition of On Campus. And I am on the beautiful Louisville campus, my first time here. And Coach Danny Busman Kelly uh, joining us. Coach, talk about, first of all, your time here and just a little bit about building to what you guys are now. Yeah, well, it's my seventh year. Um, and, you know, we got here and it was a great program always. Like, I don't know how many times we've missed the NCAA tournament, but maybe only once or twice um, in like 30 years. So definitely a program that had a great foundation. And that's what was one thing that was so attractive about the job is like it had the foundation. So you knew that it could be something really special. And it was like, you're going up was already starting at a very high point. So it's, it's been a great ride. and. Just very proud of what we've done and you know what we thought we could do when we got here we're making happen so that's pretty exciting one thing is I've followed from afar and now a little bit closer the last couple of years it just seems a word I use is uh, momentum and excitement it just seems like there's a lot of both of those with your program right now yeah I think momentum you know it's funny volleyball because it can change so fast so it's very it's hard to get and it's really easy to lose yeah. so um, I would say yeah we have some momentum going and then again exciting and we have a lot of fun I think our um, staff player relationships are very like at a high level and so we it's easy to maintain that momentum or easier not easy but um, we have a great relationship we have fun but then we're all here to win and I do think when you come to Louisville to play volleyball you're coming here to play volleyball right. and um, and get better and because you're passionate about the sport. Well, and I noticed that when, um, for being at media day during your final four practices and we're texting people back home, I'm like, these guys are as loose as anybody, just your staff having fun with the players when it was time to work, it was mm -hmm. time to work, but that wasn't a flash in the pan one day, every time I've been around your staff that that's exactly how yeah. you guys are. Yep, and you know, that's a, we spend so much time together, it's like, yeah. why not have fun? And we're playing a game, and we're, um, we get to be in this athletics world, and sports can mean so much to people, and it's just a really amazing profession, and really amazing what the players get to do every day. Well, and speaking from, with a few of your players, most of your coaches, it seems like there's a really tight-knit bond in your program, mm -hmm. a lot of loyalty on your staff, continuity, but also it just seems like there's that buy-in from the players as well. Yeah, and you know, that, that goes from top down and we appreciate everybody in our program and treat everybody equally and even players that have left our program um, for this reason or the other, I feel like it's always on a, a positive term and um, we, we try to continue those relationships and um, we really want to make people better volleyball players and better people, um, most importantly. Let's talk about the campus a little bit. Yeah. Uh, first thing, with my first time being here, I love that this literally is like a village, all the stadiums mm -hmm. lined up in a row. I mean, like this is the focal point of the campus. Yeah, that's another very exciting, attractive, whatever you want to say thing about Louisville is the the support for athletics and for each sport is at a really high level and um, they want to win at every sport here and um, they provide the resources. So um, yeah, you walk, you drive down Floyd Street and you see softball, track, soccer, field hockey, lacrosse, tennis, and then you get down to um, football and baseball and everybody has their own space. Yeah. Um, so you're not fighting over like who gets what when or scheduling and um, it's just turned out the way campus was built it made it really beautiful and also in like sections so you have athletics academics and then housing um, so it's it's a really nice setup well then let's talk about the unique odd but great thing about your facility being volleyball only and everything you guys really need right here yes. in one building that doesn't happen most places no and it's perfect I mean we get our training room team room, video room, locker room, 
and on top of that it is right kind of in the middle of campus so the convenience is incredible so you can go to class come back here for an hour take a nap and be at your next class in five minutes you know so the convenience of this facility is is so nice we also have a weight room that just got redone that's only for volleyball so you know we can lift at any time of the day and again you're not walking all over the place or getting on a bus to make it to your next destination so it's it's pretty incredible when it i mean this literally is their home yeah um, their, for sure their home base which i've been on a few camps now that doesn't you know that's an oddity to have a yeah. volleyball only facility um, hopefully there's more of those to come. Agreed. Right? Um, so let's talk about the, the fan base. You touched on it, but one thing I noticed last year was when the whole attendance record phase took off. Mm -hmm. And then you guys had the idea to play at the Yum Center. Yeah. Was that happening before? Yes. Okay. So before I was the head coach here, they were playing all their games at the Yum Center. Then we decided to redo LNN and give it more of a, a arena feel, even yeah. though it's on the small side. Um, and play most of our games here. And then when we started selling it out, it's like, let's start moving games back to the Yum Center. And so last year, we could really only move one um, during the regular season just because of events that were right. at the Yum Center. Right. So we were on top of it more this year. Um, but there's a lot that goes into it, you know, as far as scheduling and, you know, the city and the state do own some of that arena, so they need to make money too. So. Um, a lot has to go into scheduling it and then making it work, especially when you consider practices and everything that goes into scheduling a match down there. But it was really important for us to, to get pre, like big matches down there, big name opponents, um, just so we could draw a big crowd and we knew that the fans would come and support us um, if given the opportunity. And again the game of volleyball or the sport is growing so rapidly it's like we want to be a part of that too and that's part of moving some games down there well then i think as you went into the tournament right and you were really good on social media about um encouraging the fans but they listened and they yeah. showed up and the records were set um i think you expect to set another one yeah. tonight right yeah. for the kentucky match and and I'm guessing that'll happen. Yeah, so we set, you know, a record of the Notre Dame game, then at against <laughs> Oregon, and now based on ticket sales, we will set another one tonight and then hopefully, you know, in October. Yeah. Um, well we play Sunday at the Yum Center too, but in October that gives another month and a half to go by. Hopefully we can set a new one. So it's like we're gonna keep challenging our fans until that place is sold out. And the the great thing is they respond, right? Which yes. also doesn't happen maybe everywhere. They do that and just shows that this really is a college college community. It really it? is. It's a it's a bigger city, yeah. but definitely a college vibe because Louisville Athletics is the biggest show in town when it comes to athletics. So it gets a lot of attention and um, kind of puts us in the spotlight. Yeah, and then there's one little horse race that happens. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's known for. But with, you're right, I mean, the tradition of Louisville Athletics is long in history. Yeah. And, um, and it's just one of those names you think of when you talk college, yeah. you talk college sports. But um, have you noticed, through, I don't know, I'm, rise might not be the right word, but with the Final Four appearances and the, the difficult schedule that you guys play and being that name, do you feel like Louisville's now mentioned in that group of maybe three, four, five schools that it's a volleyball powerhouse? You know, I, that's a tough question because I think we are right now and um, being mentioned, but in a different way. It's like, well, you have these schools and then there's this group of schools. Right. So I feel like there's still like these groupings, um, but that's okay. You know, we, we're happy for what we're building and right. I think certain type of athletes and recruits want to be a part of that. and see the value and what in being a part of that so I think we're in the name of like a great programs and teams that are going to be playing great but I don't know if we're quite to like the the powerhouses right. not enough stuff that you can just put it on cruise control right exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly well and, and when I talked with Dan um before one of your assistant coaches he said you know I think I uh, thought he made a great statement where he said this program's kind of cut its teeth with kids that have chips on their shoulder mm -hmm. right they come in and maybe weren't recruited somewhere else or they came here and yes they were talented but when it came down to it it's just they outworked and that's some of our biggest wins have come from kids that 
play with a chip on their shoulder. One hundred percent, and that's also I think what makes it really fun here is yeah. you're coming here to to prove something, and you're excited about that challenge. Um, so, I, I chip on the shoulder. You say that, or I think it's also just players that love to play yeah. volleyball, yeah. and they're coming here because they love to play, not because they want to have a certain name on their jersey. They're playing here. They love to play. They want to get better. And, most of them want to continue after college. Awesome. Well, I thank you for your time and having us down here this couple days. And if the weather can be like this, 365, yeah. I might just move here. Great. Well, you know, <laughs> it's it's nice a lot. Yeah. You know, I came from the Midwest and yeah. where it's like windy, cold, or hot, I felt like. And here, um, it, it's pretty nice most of the time. I'm a Midwest guy. I walk around shorts and a polo today. Everybody's got quarter zips and yeah. talk about how cold it is. And I'm like, this is great, but yeah. no, beautiful campus, beautiful facilities, and just keep up the great work. Thank it's you fun so watching much. you guys. Appreciate it.